Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord His Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, November the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Can uh, sorry, Leo. Cancer. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, it's been a long week. Anyway, uh, strength card in the upright position um is your overall going forward we have the page of cups in the upright we have the seven of wands reversed we have major arcana temperance in the upright and lastly the five of pentacles reversed so cancer for your overall energy you have the strength card in the upright position so i i always say this when it comes to the strength card i love it when it comes up because it lets us know that we will be able to and especially as a central energy um you'll be able to overcome anything or deal with anything that comes your way because all you have to do is draw upon your own inner strength that we all have within we just need to get in touch with it every once in a while and sometimes we need to strength card when we are feeling overwhelmed when we're feeling overworked when we are feeling like things are going a little bit chaotic and going away uh, sometimes when things are difficult there's different reasons why we would need to draw upon our own strength but this week that it came up in your reading to let you know that you can do that you will feel it in spades this week your own uh, strength coming up but you just need to get in touch with it remember it's not about brute strength it's about inner strength which is very gentle you just take some deep breaths in and out and um and realize that whatever is going on around you it's just a moment it's not reflective of of your entire future or what's happening even in your entire present sometimes these things are just a moment and they will pass you know the saying this too shall pass right Right at the beginning of the week, you have the beautiful Page of Cups in the upright position. Well, Page of Cups, it is a court, court card, could represent a person. If it's a represented person, this is water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Page of Cups in the upright position can um, point to anything from uh, maybe somebody is sending you love notes. If you're single, this could be somebody who's younger than you, who is just really, or it could be somebody who is not necessarily necessarily physically younger but maybe somebody who is uh, not that much emotionally you know mature or developed um, this could also represent for some of you a child this could be your own child or grandchild just kind of reaching out to you and sort of making your day for others of you this could represent a heartfelt apology remember too this is your own energy it is water energy so this could be you maybe wanting to send a message to somebody else or send an apology to someone else if that is the case go ahead and do it because you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position indicating any emotional messages that you want to give or receive you're on the right path move in that direction next card you have is the seven of wands in the reverse position <clears throat> indicating you're coming out of a, a period of uh, protection sometimes the seven of wands in the upright position can point to when we are protecting ourselves we're protecting um, our heart protecting our privacy you know there's a lot of reasons why people feel, can feel a little bit defensive this can come up when we are defending somebody else when the card is inverted this can point to not or feeling like we don't need to protect somebody else or realizing maybe that that person never deserved our protection in the first place so that could be the case or it could be that you know the seven of wands sometimes it's like we went ahead and uh, said something or did something and we're just not sure how people are going to react to it but this could be where you're at the point now where you just don't you don't really care you're letting down your guard don't really care how somebody is going to receive this or how they're going to take it i'm just going to do it Moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful temperance energy in the upright position. The temperance points to a lot of cooperation. It, it's very much like the three of wands, only, you know, tenfold. This can indicate that we're put in charge of something, maybe put in charge of putting together an event. It could be personally, it could be at work. Uh, maybe we have to do something for a colleague or something like that, maybe in terms of a social thing. Our boss could have put us in... in uh, at the head of a meeting and maybe we have to put, pull everything together 
The good news is you will get cooperation from the people around you. Temperance is also a very <clears throat> balanced and healing energy. So for those of you who are trying to heal on a major level, especially a spiritual level, that you could find that you find a lot of peace and uh, harmony coming towards the end of the week for yourself. Well, sure, if you're releasing defensiveness and maybe if you're receiving an apology from somebody, I could definitely see where, or even a beautiful love note. It could be somebody has a crush on you and they're messaging you. Last card you have is the five of pentacles in the reverse position, indicating somebody could be returning from the past because five of pentacles in the upright point can point to, um, you know, feeling that you were deserted or abandoned in a time of need. When the card is reversed, this could be that the person you, who has abandoned you or the people who have abandoned you are back coming back on the scene again. But it can go both ways. Maybe you abandon someone or, or a group of people and it could be that you are reaching out or they're reaching out to you and you're bringing them back into the fold. Now, for others of you, this could have been a financial situation at the end of the week. Five Pentacles in the upright can point to just being concerned about whether or not the finances we have will hold out. It could be for anything just, you know, from cost of living to an event. Maybe we have obligated ourselves to an event and we're like, I don't know if I have enough money to pull this off. But when the card is inverted, it could indicate that we are realizing that we actually do have the funds to be able to, you know, deal with whatever comes our way. So it looks like an interesting week for you here, Cancer. Can't wait to hear from you in the you guys in the comment section below. But thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous week. And um, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.